Okay, this video is to document the newest addition to our collection. This is a shell flute clock uh, made by Emilian Vierli in Furtwagen, Germany, uh, circa 1880. This clock here stands 50 inches tall from the base uh, to the top tree. See this clock is just exquisitely carved. See the base of the clock has these very large scroll wood feet. And the whole base of the clock comes out forward towards you. And there's a family of five small birds that are roaming the forest floor. You can see the foliage of rock and, and fern and grass. And one nice thing about this clock as well, the carving on it is uh, totally asymmetrical. So on this side you have the holly and the berry with the fern and the grasses. And on this side you have the oak leaf and the acorn. And at the top of this uh, piece is a very large family of ibises, or mountain goat, on the top of the uh, rocky ledge. You can see the detail is just absolutely exquisite. This clock has the largest movement that Emilian Vierly made. Uh, it's an eight day time, strike, and musical movement. So it not only will tell the time for eight days on a winding, it'll also strike the hour uh, for eight days on a winding. The musical movement, uh, it will play one of two tunes that are manually adjusted on the hour on a rank of eight wooden pipes. And the musical movement of this clock will want run for one day, so it does have to be wound uh, every single day on the musical side. We also want to share with you the uh, figures in this piece. On the hour, a uh, large set of double doors do open. You see there's a set of beautiful uh, flute players. They retain the original paint uh, down to the detail work on their socks. And this clock uh, is being shown as it came to us. Uh, it needs some very minor restoration. Uh, a couple of leaf tips and vines need to be recarved. Uh, it does need one uh, bone hand uh, repaired, as well as one bone grommet uh, fabricated. But other than that, it's in fantastic original condition. Uh, the clock does need a uh, mechanical uh, overhaul, both on the uh, movement and as well on the time train, on the uh, excuse me, the musical train. But uh, everything is there; it is complete, and it'll be a very easy job for us to do. Just as another brief history of this piece, uh, we acquired this clock uh, from a family in New York City, and this clock has been in their family since 1904, so over a hundred years. We acquired this uh, from a gentleman who was well into his 80s. Uh, he inherited it from his father, uh, who was a watch uh, maker and jeweler in Brooklyn, New York. He immigrated in the 1890s, and this clock uh, was in his flagship store uh, as a display piece. And the gentleman we acquired it from uh, remembers this clock in the store when he was a very young child and the musical tunes that it would play. And we were able to uh, get that documented history on the clock uh, from him when we purchased it. And that will be retained with the clock for future generations uh, to have. If you're interested in more Black Forest Clocks, you could check out our website, which is blackforestclocks.org. We have a passion for Black Forest horology. We're always interested in meeting other collectors or documenting other clocks, whether they're for sale or not. Uh, if you do know of a Black Forest clock that's for sale, 
uh, please feel free to contact us through our website. Our website, once again, is blackforestclocks.org, and we're always uh, interested in hearing from other people who share the similar interest.